And in Philadelphia, Derek Coleman, Matt Harpering, Dikembe Mutombo, Eric Snow, and Allen Iverson. Back to you, Mike. All right, Andrew, it's certainly it's a different atmosphere. They enjoyed a great atmosphere at the Fleet Center in Boston. It was nice to see NBA playoff basketball back in Boston, but they're not going to have the same hospitality here in Philadelphia. The rim and gets to the free throw line. They want to force the perimeter. He's starting off putting Matumbo in a pick and roll. Walker knocks down the three. Blues every time they touch the ball. Ball knocked away. Here comes Iverson. That was, a, that was a great steal by Allen Iverson. Shows what he does best. He leads the NBA in steals. Split the two defenders. What a great move there. But you see Snow right out in front. Even though Allen's got the dunk, I would like to see him get Snow off. Snow has really been struggling, and that would have been a perfect opportunity. He would have made two buckets in a row, and who knows where that takes his confidence. About Paul Pierce after game two. Uh, their stars. Pressure, you, you can't on them. Pierce puts it in. He does such a great job. Iverson knocks it down. Iverson makes a great read off this pick and pops. He gets a wide open 18-footer. Walker stripped by Snow. And Iverson comes up with it. Sullivan did a good job of getting back there and forming a wall so Iverson couldn't get to the rim. Iverson tough shot. Oh, it's a very difficult angle. And Iverson's got the field going in the opening minutes. Philly to start. Pierce for three. That's the way to quiet the crowd a little bit. That's not the tee shot. Well, Coleman's also a good defender. He's got good strength. He's got long arms. And he can shoot the three. There you go. Iverson driving baseline. Pull it up with a tough jumper with weak side help coming up behind it. Nothing but net. And now he comes off the pick and roll. He's looking. He's got it. He's looking to get his teammates involved. Swings it to Eric Snow, who bangs down a wide open three. And now his third play. Good ball moving all the way around. Snow out to Coleman for the three-pointer. Reminiscent of the Sixers and their playoff success last year. A 12-point lead here in the first. Strickland right to the glass. Oh! And there's Pierce on the foul. Season. Particularly here in the East. Pierce puts it in. Ball Pierce from downtown. That's that way. Walker for three. Puts it in. Speed Iverson. Took the hard work and still put it in with a foul. It's a nice setup by, by Claxton and great body control by Iverson because the deep defender recovered pretty nicely on the play. High degree of difficulty on the shot. See, right here, Iverson, Iverson gets his hand in, knocks the ball loose, McKee picks it up, sends it up ahead to Claxton, puts a nice bounce pass through, gets the defender to commit, and a great finish off the glass. Tech there, as Iverson hits the technical. Oh, that's, a, that's a big play. 1985, and back in the old days, they had some classics. Not here in this building, of course, at the Spectrum in Philly. Walker falls down. Iverson, top shot. Spin, got nowhere to go, just drops the ball, and Iverson's Johnny on the spot. He's always there to pick the ball up. Then he attacks, he splits, and, and Pierce with the elevation, but no... Walker for three. Iverson barely missed that rebound. Wide open three. Shooters. McKee finds Iverson right here for wide open three. Iverson, six of nine from the field. He's got 18. Scoring the league. Just the number of different ways he can score. An outside jumper there. Gets a steal here. Splits two defenders. Gets into the open court. Gets a breakaway layup here. Now he drives the baseline. Pulls up before the defense can rotate to him. Scores there. And then off of another steal. Gets out into the open court. And makes a tremendous finish against the bigger man coming to help out. Walker. Another three. <laughs> Antoine Walker. And making good draw and kick decisions. Pierce lost his shoe. He slipped and his sneaker came off and Iverson with a high percentage shot. When he comes off that pick and roll and he starts to try and turn the corner. Iverson sitting in there. He loses his shoe and falls right in his hands. The Philly defense. Oh, but Holland's running up the floor. Not listening. Walker. That's his fifth three-pointer of the first half. Gets right up on his face. Walker puts it in. 
in. Six for six from downtown. He's been averaging 10 a game in this series from the two guard spot. Walker knocks it down. Seven for seven from three-point range. Played the wood on you a few times. Shot clock is turned off. Good pass from Iverson and Snow. Hits the three. For the half, just a tremendous performance. He had 21. Iverson, meanwhile, with 20. Sixers went up by as many as 16. But the three-pointers kept them in the game. And it's a six-point Philly lead. Stay tuned for Ahmad and Tom Tolbert in our New York studios for the halftime report. Pierce will try a three. And Paul Pierce getting into the act. Yeah, that was a nice job by Antoine Walker. Only two points for the Sixers so far. And Pierce puts in a three. Oh, what confidence is that? Shooting slump is over. Pierce puts it in. Pierce from downtown. It's his turn in the second half. Three boards. Yeah. Not look, but they're not like they're great looks. So let me... And six for Boston. Well, it's because they're not going to the rim. They're, they're shooting all threes. Knocked away by Walker. And a good advance pass from Pierce. And there's his first score inside that three-point line. Iverson. Nice oh. wraparound pass. Coleman nearly put it in. Terrific great pass find. from Iverson. That was a great find by Iverson. Attack the rim, draw the defense, and set your teammate up. Goes off with two or three picks, finally gets the ball, turns the corner, goes to the rim, draws everybody up, and Coleman gets fouled. Third foul by McCarty. This one, Larry Brown always talks about Allen Iverson. He loves his competitiveness and obviously his talent. Likes him to Let's get him draw fouls. And the crazy thing about that, some of the fans. Again, in the east. And Philadelphia the sixth seed. Anderson avoids another foul. Iverson for three. What a big time shot there. There's a lot of contact on that play. Big one to make. I mean, I wonder how many times he practices this move in the backyard. A little curly kneel action. And right here, Anderson runs through his legs. I guess Joey Crawford, the referee, sitting there thinking that Iverson maybe threw his legs out on the play because there certainly was a lot of contact. Iverson talked to no back in. Iverson will sit 29 points, four assists, four boards, and five steals. I would always do that. He had, uh, he had 15 free throw attempts, Mike, in game one, 10 free throw attempts in game two, and this will be his 13th and 14th of game three in the league this year, those two. For game three, Pierce needs to space away a little bit better for him. Walker, oh, nice you know aggressive what? move from Walker. First of all, the scouting report on Antoine Walker is he loves to drive left. In on the back court, I don't know why. Iverson, that's a, a three-pointer for Allen Iverson. Tie game. See that? That was not a smart play by McCarty. Pierce puts it in. Pierce's first points of the fourth quarter. Good, oh, great ball moving right there, and Iverson buries that three. That was off a of McCarty play where he threw the ball back in bounds. Here now you got Pierce coming right back at him. Two stars, two fourth quarter big players. Bangs down the open jump. Has played a terrific. Last time when Pierce didn't throw the ball back to Rodgers, he doesn't want to see it happen another time. That's it, Rodgers, final minutes. Iverson on the pull-up. Knocks it down. Here you go, Iverson on the weave play, gets into the paint. 12, 14 foot jumper in rhythm. Great shot for, it's for Philadelphia. More big free throws. And gets that one. As the Kings leading two games to one. Double team. See if they can throw the ball to Corey as opposed to having Iverson shoot the free throw. You had plenty of time to work the clock. Iverson. Celtics still with one timeout left. And Jim O'Brien will use it now. Clutch free throw shooting. For Allen Iverson today for a day or so. 76ers season not over yet. Facing an elimination. They get a hard-fought victory and beat the Boston Celtics. Once again, the final score, 108-103.